It's a harrowing moment as a strong tornado swept across the fields of Hokkaido, Japan today. The tornado landed near Tokachi in the northern region, reportedly destroying farmers' crops. The Abahiro weather station confirmed the sighting of a tornado-like phenomenon, about three kilometers north of Abahira Airport. There were no reports of injuries or casualties, local media reported, citing police. However, the Abahira Teisho Agricultural Cooperative said farmers' crops and equipment were damaged after the tornado hit. According to the Abahira Airport Office, flights to Haneda Airport were also delayed by an hour. A dust devil tornado is a type of vortex that forms when the sun heats an area of land and the air above it gets warmer and rises quickly. The cooler air then moves into the low-pressure gap left by the rising warmer air. They are not as dangerous as tornado supercells, which can cause serious damage. In the Urals a strong wind has raged. Gusts of wind lifted up clouds of dust and sand, felled trees and demolished buildings. In Yekaterinburg, the wind caused the wires to sparkle. Local residents even had to call the fire department. The situation is even worse in Nizhny Tagil. The wind ripped out a tree in the center of the city. And in Dzerzhinsky district a foreign car was hit by the elements. A tree fell on the Nissan Omera right during the traffic. Fortunately, there were no casualties. A neighbor's greenhouse was blown into someone else's vegetable garden on the way out of the city. The agency also reports that a tree fell directly on the streetcar contact line on the way to the Severny village. Because of this, traffic was temporarily paralyzed. Recall that rescuers declared a storm warning due to strong winds, but the weather deteriorated early. Two mountain roads leading to settlements in the Unsikulski district of Dagestan are closed due to mudflows. This was reported to journalists in the management of roads in the region Degatodor. In Unsikulski district on the road of national importance Binisk, Gimri, Cherkata as a result of heavy rain with hail debris flows came down. At several sections, debris flow was discharged onto the roadway. The road is closed on the section of KM36, KM49, was said in the report. According to the ministry, the road of Republican significance Shamilkala is also closed in the area. There are unbelievable mudflows on the footage. It's very rare event recorded on camera. <laughs> Highwaymen ask drivers of vehicles traveling to mountainous areas to use extreme caution when driving through the mudflows in rainy weather. In no case do not try to pass through the moving mudflow masses. Leave it a safe distance and wait for the arrival of road services and road clearing. According to the Hydrometeorological Center, heavy rain and thunderstorms are expected in some areas of the Republic of Dagestan. Following the warnings of Turkish state meteorological services, the capital Ankara was in the grip of the adverse weather conditions, as hail and downpours were effective in Ketcheran district. Many streets, houses and workplaces were flooded. Due to the rainfall, the football field in a neighborhood was flooded and some children playing soccer got stranded. That after the downpours and hail, the storm drains were blocked, and a major flood occurred in many regions throughout the district. It is the responsibility of the Ankara municipality to evacuate the floodwaters, claiming that the municipality teams are not properly executing their duty. Meanwhile, 
The southern province of Antalya also surrendered to heavy rain in the evening hours of. Pedestrians and drivers had a hard time in the rain that continued for about an hour. While some buildings were flooded, landslides occurred in some places. Torrential downpours also affected the eastern province of Elizig. Due to the heavy downpour in the eastern province of Meuse, a total of five vehicles, 35 houses and many barns were damaged, and a bridge collapsed due to the overflow of the stream in Kirkoy. Rainfalls in the eastern province of Kars flooded 20 workplaces and 8 houses. Rescue teams were dispatched to the flooded areas. 